Thank you all for coming. We have a country in crisis. A recent poll showed Americans' optimism about this country's direction over the next year has plummeted 20 points just since May. This should prize, surprise no one in America. Every time Americans go to the checkout at the grocery store or gas station, they're paying more. Every time they turn on the local or national news, they're seeing crime continue to surge. Every time they get updates about our southern border, they're seeing reports about thousands of migrants that are illegally entering our country every single day and not being tested for COVID and then being moved throughout the nation. And every time the CDC releases new guidance, not only does it contradict information they have already released, but it punishes Americans who've already done everything they were asked to do. They were told to be vaccinated. They wouldn't have to wear a mask. Think about what the CDC did just this week. They forced vaccinated Americans to wear masks because of a study in India about a vaccine that's not even in America that has not been peer reviewed. The CDC has become a political arm of the administration. It wants to control every element of our life. What's interesting, we stand out here in front of the Capitol, by the chambers of the House, but as you look across on the other steps is the Senate. I'm not quite sure where the CDC got, but somewhere in the middle of that dome, the science changes. <laughs> if you are a Capitol Police officer, you got orders that you work at some parts during the day on the House side and some parts on the Senate. If a vaccinated staffer comes across in the House side without a mask, you are ordered to arrest them, but not on the Senate. This is not the America we know. This is not Pelosi's house. This is the people's house. The study the political CDC won't even put out the study from India, but they base this. And in their guidelines, they say only in hot spots. We we're 85% vaccinated. If you are vaccinated and you get the variant, there's 0.003% you'd go to the hospital. There's a greater chance you got hit by lightning. But some reason, Pelosi thinks the storm is coming. Are they using this new report because school districts are soon to have to open back up? Yep. We believe in science, and we want a speaker that will take the time to understand the science instead of just calling people names.